क्वेश्चन नंबर 109 डेफिशिएंसी सिम्टम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एंड पोटेशियम आर विजिबल फर्स्ट इन यू नो दैट नाइट्रोजन एंड पोटेशियम दे आर मोबाइल एलिमेंट्स नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इन द सेनिसाइजिंग लीव्स यस इन द लोल्ड लीव्स मैक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स दे अंडरगो ब्रेक डाउन यस the compounds they undergo breakdown the elements which are mobile they move from the senescent leaves to the young leaves right so the mobile elements they will move from the senescent leaves to the young leaves so the first deficiency of the element it will appear in the senescent leaves because from there the mobile elements they have been transported to the young leaves so for a, this question the right option is senescent leaves nitrogen phosphorus potassium they are mobile elements so the first deficiency symptoms they are seen in senescent leaf and if we talk about calcium calcium is an immobile element so the movement of the element from the senescent leaves to the young leaves that is absent so the young leaves they will not get calcium so the first deficiency symptom in the case of immobile elements they will first appear in the young leaves so after this now let's discuss question number 110 here In question number one hundred and ten, we have to see in which of the following respiratory process carbon dioxide is not released as a byproduct. Now, in aerobic respiration in plants as well as animals, there is complete breakdown of glucose, resulting in the formation of carbon dioxide as well as water. in alcoholic fermentation there's partial breakdown of food resulting in the formation of alcohol that is ethanol and carbon dioxide so one glucose molecule if it undergoes breakdown there's formation of two molecules of ethanol plus there's formation of carbon dioxide now in the lactic fermentation that is lactic acid fermentation there is production of two molecules of lactic acid and here carbon dioxide production that is absent so the right answer for this question number 110 is option number 4 so now let's see question number 111 here 